Hey there, it's Derek from Pacific Coast Auto here in Japan. We're looking at a year 2000 Hino Liese. This one here is a 29 seater bus. Not really the typical thing that we have on the channel here, uh, but it is a cool Hino slash Toyota because Toyota owns Hino bus that you can buy from Japan and export to your country. This one here is going to go over to Southampton in the UK. Here's the auction inspection sheet. I'll have a translation of this for you in a second here. Just gonna switch the engine off. We got 249,000 kilometers, you can see on the odometer there. And this is a post-purchase inspection video. Uh, we're gonna be sending this one off as soon as we're done the report here. In fact, maybe yes, maybe no, we might send it to a shop to get some maintenance done. So we'll see about that. But anyway, let's jump into it. Switch off the engine, pull the key out. Okay, and I'll quickly translate this so you know the condition of it. It's a year 2000 Liese by Hino. It is a bus with a 4,200 cc engine. This engine is the same engine as in the Land Cruiser. It's the 1HD. Uh, the 80 series Land Cruiser has the same engine. FTE, so it's a turbo diesel. So parts will be accessible for you. And the condition of the bus is fair. I think it's actually quite good. I think you'll like this one. Okay, so the mileage 249.844. I wrote the two on there because it was a bad print. We were running out of toner, I'm sorry. It also says customer request no VIN shown, so I've scribbled out a couple of places where it might be identifiable. Okay, so it has power steering AC, automatic transmission in this one. Sometimes you can find um, manual transmission buses, <laughs> manual transmission buses, see if I can speak that properly, uh, but they are pretty rare. Okay, so registered as a 29-seater. The report here says the dashboard has screw holes, which it does, quite a few of them. Um, interior has glue marks. Actually, that's what they're talking about. See up there, the little sticky things that are on the, the um, headliner. So there are a few of those in various places inside. Very scratches and dents, and then the dash panel has been replaced. I'm not sure how they would know that the dash panel has been replaced, but I guess it has. Okay, the front face has been replaced here. Okay, it also says S here and S here. Now there is some S on the car, which is rust. It's at the base of the windshield here. There is a teeny bit here, but this stuff over here isn't rust. It's bubbling paint from uh, the paint, like not rust underneath, but just the paint bubbling from a respray. Okay, also has some A2, but in general, the vehicle is in really clean condition body-wise. You'll see when I go around it. Let's put that there. Uh, didn't mention cigarette burns to the interior, which there are some. Have a look. There are a number of them in this area, but they're all kind of light, so you don't see them very easily. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look at it close up. Okay, and then three more on this area here. One, two, three. These ones are bigger, but not that big. Okay, so we'll do the once around of the vehicle so you can see it from all different angles and then I'll point out any of the weaknesses that I've noticed. Engine wise, these Land Cruiser engines are very reliable. And when it comes to a bus like this, you're pretty much guaranteed that it hasn't been quote unquote abused. Um, you can't really abuse a bus. You're not gonna take it to a land, like a racetrack or an off-road terrain. They're just driven slowly on the highway most of the time. And it's huge, and so I can barely fit it inside one frame here. Uh, dually rear wheels, tires on, are on it are from 2015. Okay, it has a uh, rear compartment here for storage. So usable, but it's not that, uh, it's not that large. So for personal belongings, I think good. And those are the seats, the rear row of seats right there. Now, as far as I know, this one might actually be converted into a camper, if my memory serves me well. I believe that the people who wanted to buy this were um, originally looking to buy a camper. And because it doesn't really fit into our business model, we had to stop selling campers. Um, it became a bit of a, well, more than a bit of a hassle, but I'm not really <laughs> going to go into details. But campers are uh, 
problematic for most people that want an individual camper for themselves. And for that reason, we only supply them to dealerships who are going to be selling them on to the end user who can actually see them in person. But the loophole is a bus. If you want, you can make your own camper inside then. Okay, yeah, that's the JDM tree. Usually we shoot this in profile. Any vehicle will fit between these two trees. No problem. This one is too bussy. Too big. Okay, so now having a look at the details, let's see. So it is, I suppose, uh, I don't know what to say. It's a bus. <laughs> the headlights look like bus headlights. It has a chin spoiler. That's kind of cool. And then uh, inside there's your radiator and the AC. I didn't check the coolant because you have to take off more panels to get the coolant. And I didn't want to go searching around for which panel to take off in order to get the coolant. Typically with K trucks and with buses, um, or in some cases campers, we aren't going to be checking the coolant. But I did check the oil and it looked okay. Coolant, very, very low chance that there's an issue with it. And if you want, we'd have to get it sent to a shop if you wanted to have certain things like uh, uh, pre or like post inspection done. Uh, this area here, there are a number of scratches that have been touched up with touch up paint. Right there, I'm not sure how well you can see. Maybe the light will catch it better from here. Okay, there's some sticky material here, a little bit of a blemish here. I'm not really sure what you would consider that. Okay, down here a few more scratches. And then uh, this area here has like some body filler that has been used. Now the front end has been replaced, but the front end, look, it just gets attached to the rest of it. You would like weld it on and then finish it with body filler. So there is marks from that. Right here. It's just a little bit, just a little bit of rust in here. And here as well. A number of spaces, they're all very minor, but they are something that you're gonna to wanna to address. Really big windshield, really big side windows, and a completely flat side make this actually pretty easy to park. Um, we accidentally sh shipped it to us here. Um, it was supposed to go direct to port because large vehicles like this are hard to deal with, but we did get it into the lot fairly easily despite the large size. Going down here, we have some chips on this. This is an auto door. So you press the button and the door swings out. I'll show you in a second. Um, actually, I can open it here because we're gonna go in pretty soon. Oh, it's locked. Oh, okay, so I have it set on, auto. you can choose auto or manual for the door. When it's set at auto, you probably can't open it from the outside. So we'll see when we get in. Okay, the bu bubbling and the S1 that they're talking about. Maybe they're talking about this for the S1, but that's weird. That's just one chip. And here's another one chip. S1 is very light rust, so it could be that. But if you look at the white here, you look carefully, you'll see bubbles on most of it. Okay, just below this black uh, side bumper. The blue, it's pretty good. And it looks like uh, it's been repainted in various places. Also a texture paint there. I'm not sure why. In a couple of places it's like that. Also, this area here has been repaired from with body filler. Okay. Going down here, the back corner is good on both sides. Uh, front corner has a dent. I'll get to that in a sec. And you look down here, this part here has been repainted, so you're going to want to look for paint wave. Everything looks good. This, this bus comes from Hokkaido, which is up north. And typically, you're going to want to be a little bit careful of vehicles from up north because of corrosion and rust. The auction sheet didn't mention anything on this, which makes it safer. Still, sometimes you'll see some. I got some undercar pictures of this, and it looks pretty reasonable. So, there you can see the frame. And you can't see everything because there is the other AC. There's two ACs in this. Um, only one of the two ACs works, though. So, again, we could get that fixed at a repair shop here if you wanted. Please let us know. Let us know quickly because a bus in the lot is hard to <laughs> maneuver around. Sometimes we have to, like this morning, we spent an hour just moving cars in and out of the um, the lot uh, together, me and Grant. Okay, so this area here, some rock chips, and there's some paint blemishes too. You can see at the right angle there. Okay, more of that uh, uh, texture paint. I'm not sure why. And then there's the dent there. Okay. Now, you only get a door on the driver's side. You may have noticed the passenger side doesn't have a door 
for the passenger. They get a cool window here that gives you good visibility and really nice mirrors. Um, but if you want to get in there, you have to go in here and then climb into the seat. So let's go ahead and do that, get into the, the uh, inside of the vehicle here. I love that these have the Land Cruiser engine. That to me is so cool. Okay, so the driver's seat, I showed you the cigarette burns on it already. It is otherwise a little bit loose fabric, but it's otherwise fine. E-brake is on the outside here, which is, uh, once it's your bus, won't be an issue. But for me, I keep looking for the e-brake here. I've done it three times now and went, oh, where's the e-brake? Is it a foot style? No, it's not there. And then it's over here. Like, uh, like the Ferrari that's over there. I was trying to think of any vehicle that comes to mind with an outside e-brake. Okay, so there's a worn out section there for the heel. The Toyota section is peeling and then you get the two pedals there on one side of the steering column. So it's pretty normal. One foot just sits there and does nothing. Climbing up into it, it's fairly easy. You have a uh, hold on there, but you sit up really high compared to other things. Like uh, the seat is a little bit l lower than the roof line there. Maybe up to there is where you're sitting. So you look down on people, which can be fun. Here it says careful opening and closing the door, which is funny because I actually just damaged the van of my, my minivan pressing the auto open button and then hitting something that we were right next to. There was a pole there and it opened and went <laughs> across the pole. Not fun. Timing belt changed at 154,000 kilometers. That wasn't mentioned in the auction sheet, so a nice little bonus there. Uh, it doesn't smell like cigarettes in here, even though we know that it has been smoked in. Here you can see the two different versions of the AC. And I could be wrong about this, but uh, maybe only one of the ACs can go on at a time. I actually don't know these buses well enough to know. But the one up here works, which is also up there, up there, up there, like all the way back, right? And then you have another one that's the regular car version that goes there. That one doesn't work. How much does that matter? Well, I'm not really sure because... This one's obviously a stronger version of the AC. This one here is a weaker version, so. Hmm. Okay, you get stuff there like a tackle graph, and if you don't know what that is, it doesn't really matter that much. Tackle graph is for industrial driving purposes only. Okay, so some glue marks here. A few of the buttons, the paint has worn off of them, and uh, the open close for the door. Let's uh, get that done. So open. Oh, need the key in. Try this again. Whee! That's how it's done. Okay, and um, I'll quickly show you these two seats and then go back around to the other seat. Make it easier to go through that door on the other side. Okay. So, I'll set this to manual so that I can open the door. Oh, that unlocks it too. Okay, make sure that doesn't close on me. Step up, step up. Okay, and uh, can easily stand up in the car. So you get to see me now. Hey guys. This is me. Oh, I don't really want to show you my hair, but uh, 5'10", I can easily stand up in here. If you're taller than me, you might have a little bit of an issue. Okay, uh, to get into there, you have to climb up here and kind of stand on here. It's a little bit of a weird one, but uh, I guess you can kind of stand in here a bit. It comes with a fire extinguisher down there and a red flag. Okay, 29 seats, but uh, one of the rows is all flipped down. So you can see all of these ones flip down like this. Uh, press here, down, and up like that. And then those ones there don't appear to have their own seat belts. So seat belts fewer than 29. And then the seats, I'm just going to, you know, once you've seen one set of two seats, you've seen them all. So I'm just going to quickly show you this. And I've gotten full pictures of all of these seats. I didn't see anything that was uh, worth mentioning, like cigarette burns on any of the seats. And then the back gets a full row of four with the seat belts in them. Single seats on this side. Okay, so we got some glue marks up here and here and some rules, I guess. Hmm. And then more of the glue marks. 
plastics here look like they turn yellow a little bit like uh, you know old plastics do and that says no smoking which is ironic for a vehicle that has cigarette damage in it but oh well and it says there's a drive recorder running which I don't think there is maybe it was mounted here okay and uh, the screw holes in the dashboard I had not mentioned so there are four up here as well as this one here to put a wire through and some clips to go on there two screw holes down here one more here and there's a bit of damage to the dashboard around the sticky marks there oh and some scratches there okay so bus time is finished that's really all there is to it i'm going to call it the land cruiser bus close that door and then i'll pull it back in there okay that's all for now of course if you have any questions let me know if not thank you so much and have a nice day